Okay, so I'm gonna do a video about my uh, TIG rig setup for the the new guys coming into the industry. Flipping, hold on. See the stupid door freaking mute. Oh gosh. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna do a video about my TIG rig setup so it can help some of those new guys out because I had to figure this out on my own. Someone probably could have told me, but I kind of had to figure it out in a hurry because I was the only guy on the rig that could do copper nickel at the time. So it was important that I run two different hoses, one for the purge and one for the rig. All right, so here's my box all my crap in it and here's my setup now I'll tell you a little bit about that all right so first off get you a good TIG rig this is a size 17 it's some generic one I don't know what it is exactly but it works good for me so there it is, all right. I got my hose coming off of that. And it goes here to my block. I should probably, let me get that off so you can see what I'm talking about. Got a little tripod here, it's magnetic. All right. So let me get this off. Now the reason I have a glove on here is so it doesn't arc out on anything and cause you to have to do a cutout because cutouts are not fun. <laughs> not fun for you, not fun for the employer. Nobody is happy when you arc out on something. So that's why the glove is here. If I can get it off, I can show you what I'm talking about. Bloody. Okay, so here we go. All right. So there it is. Let me clean this camera real quick. All right, so I have my block here. This is the block right there. That's the block, all right? So the TIG rig comes in here to the block. And a lot of people just clamp their stinger onto that, but I got me a, just a little male connector here little pigtails most people call them all right then from this end of the uh, freaking block i have a hose a regular you know style argon fitting right here and it goes into a y valve and then it goes in this so let me, let me explain this a little bit so usually you have your tig rig and a regular argon hose coming off, right? And then you'd have another separate hose from a different bottle going to your pipe. Well, with this setup, you can run one hose directly to you. So the one hose off the argon bottle comes in right here and it feeds both your TIG rig and your purge. And it's, it's right next to you too. So instead of like going 30 feet to the argon bottle and changing your purge you can do it right there next to you so that's what this setup is for that's what's called a quick connect because it's just hook it up real quick and you can start welding so that's that's that setup right there hopefully that helps out some of the younger guys trying to figure out you know <laughs> how to do stuff on the job and hopefully that'll keep you from looking like a fool and running back and forth between your argon bottles so that's that. Stay tuned for more videos. I don't know what y'all want to see. This is kind of just random stuff. I got out of bed to video. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy.